ബാക്കിയുള്ളവരൊക്കെ അവിടെ ഇരിക്കുന്നു how much time do you expect it will take because i want to go by 3 by 3 it will be over link guys oh vannillallo no maybe edil aanu che no ഒന്നില്ലല്ലോ മാഡം റൈസിംഗ് ബേസിക്സ് അല്ലല്ലോ റൈറ്റിംഗ് ബേസിക്സ് ഓ ഇ ടി റൈറ്റിംഗ് അല്ലേ അതോ ഇത് ഇതാണ് all right eh stop on uh, good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever it is applicable first of all at the outset i must be excused for removing my mask because uh, here it is highly sanitized the place uh, i'm going to talk at length and it will be easy and easier for me if i am devoid of a mask uh, because here it is just now it had been sprayed and done everything all my audience here and the neighboring rooms are masked well uh, uh, friends Uh, here and uh, uh, around uh, court is an excellent foppery of the world uh, says and court says shakespeare that when we are sick of fortune we blame our stars and court shakespeare says when you fail you say that is my luck unluck is my time it's my fate is a star in which i am born is responsible well i don't know whether shakespeare believed in that uh, what you call fatalism but a uh, bmax never because 
uh, we find uh, often times students coming with a uh, listening 8.5 reading 9 speaking 8 writing 6.5 uh, very often it is found not very often why it is not a fate it is not uh, you the star in which you are born or not it is because of your uh, uh, time is because you did not do your work so what we have been doing uh, uh, we had been doing for the last 2 uh, 3 week is that that uh, take each module and give a little more an ounce more attention to that we have a wonderful man at the hem of affairs here we it is um, the md of uh, uh, bmax his name is uh, mr shan saukat whom we lovingly call shan sir he has envisaged program that every week we are going to celebrate for one month uh, one module already we have done our reading module week reading week last week it was sister week it was uh, uh, listening now this week it is a uh, writing week here we are going in depth analysis and find out to pick out the problem therefore our aim ultimate goal is to help the students to get at least uh, b there is nothing no compromise on that uh, well uh, so uh, i made a uh, survey today among the students uh, i am given uh, uh, only one hour because we don't have much time because we have to care take care of the other modules also so i am uh, i was told by our uh, fom uh, junshi madam so her and uh, she uh, was uh, contacted she say she can give only one hour but uh, if time permit maybe one more hour so i conducted a survey among our students and uh, six of them said that they want a causes and a solution and uh, 12 of them said that they want a uh, uh, discuss both of you whereas 32 of our exam candidates 32 said that they want a two way uh, talk two way discussion two way uh, type of uh, essay uh, well uh, uh, casually incidentally i happened to go through the question paper at the ielts test uh, that is conducted in kuwait and that was also i took i thought of immediately taking that and making an analysis of that So we are going to do an analysis of two-way task, and then before that, let us have a quick recap of what are the things you have to do when you do an IELTS task two. First and foremost is that you should know what is the marking criteria. You should know what the examiner is looking for. All of you, you are doctors here. Engineers here, architects here, nurses here, beauticians, and even those who are selling uh, meat and fish are here. They must have said beauticians also. So you are coming from varied strata of uh, you. I can say it's a cross section of Kollap. And here, uh, I am not here. We, we are not bothered about your knowledge part. You are f- focused on certain thing that is called your language part. That is what the examiner is looking. That you know our four thing. that a ta that is task accomplishment certain things are requested required of you then cc coherence and uh, cohesion then is a lexical resource that is your vocabulary and finally two things grammatical range and accuracy so these are the four things looked and these are the four things you are expected to give examiner will be happy and he is not looking for whether you agree or disagree or what is that cause nothing nothing so what we are in, uh, interested in is that uh, try to satisfy him so i am going to analyze this question with reference to this uh, uh, marking criteria that is the best way so what are uh, uh, what is that uh, first you uh, have to uh, second take the second item that is uh, coherence and cohesion cc what is that now uh, uh, we in bmax follows a pattern for para structure so i think uh, i may use uh, the board a little it will be convenient for uh, uh, everyone to see and uh, uh, respond so we uh, use an intro introduction then we write uh, body paragraph 1 then body paragraph 2 and uh, a conclusion this uh, this is the uh, strata this is how 
uh, we are uh, writing four para structure we don't advocate the five which i will tell you later now here uh, uh, introduction uh, you have to uh, that is introduction two points you have to write the first one is paraphrase paraphrase and the second one is a uh, paraphrase which are ac paraphrase and the second point uh, is paraphrase and the second one is this is sentence only two points that means a uh, paraphrase is a latin word which para means rewrite and phrase means word you rewrite the word that's all and don't get, try to give an introduction for that was there once upon a time maybe some uh, 10 20 years ago not to 10 20 years ago it was a fashion in uh, ielts writing that you give a topic sentence what is a topic about that you say one sentence and then right now it is no more there and uh, our marking criteria is silent about that don't waste your time and not only that there are many chances uh, chances are more for you to uh, go off topic therefore don't write uh, an introduction only two points i didn't say sentence only two points then comes uh, our bp1 bp and uh, now another very interesting thing and what is your continuity is exactly the same that is rephrase uh, uh, the paraphrase what you have written it here rephrase it and re re rephrase uh, rephrase uh, your uh, thesis sentence that means you are not going to write anything new what you are writing is exactly then bp1 and bp2 our body paragraph 1 and 2 uh, there you have four points you have to do the point number what is your argument argument number 1 then uh, you have to explain your argument and that is called a reason and then third point is given example and uh, the conclusion of this one of bp1 so the bp1 uh, itself is the whole idea then same thing is repeated here argument 2 then a uh, yes, reason and example and this is the structure of ielts that we follow in bmax and again uh, not only the thing we have to see for the time management also now here uh, 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 they say you have to write a minimum minimum 250 uh, well uh, if you write a minimum 250 i don't think uh, uh, it's not enough so it is better Uh, you write uh, 260 to 270 those who are looking for a uh, seven band up you have to write 260 to 270 how this this will consume say for example uh, 55 to 60 words and uh, this body paragraph about uh, 75 to 80 words and here also 75 to 80 words and here just like in the introduction 55 to 60 words and that will make about 260 uh, words now this is a very scientific approach and again one more thing is that um, uh, here you have to take uh, uh, only 5 minute you 5 minute for introduction 10 minute uh, for uh, bp1 10 minute uh, for this one and 5 minute uh, for total it will be 30 minutes that means you are writing only 30 minutes but they are telling you have 40 minute but you are writing time is only 30 minute what why because now see that uh, first 5 minute must be used for planning that is called preparation you cannot do you cannot uh, do without a plan you think about you are building a mansion house then what you have to you are not going there straight away and build it you approach an architect and then you approach an engineer and every support is we are going to make a high rise condo of uh, say for example nine floor the architect is that minute he'll go nine the floor that and that the toilet is centimeter wise meticulously marked that is called a planning without a planning you cannot do what we observe in the examination hall when the question is there start writing you start writing now immediately we say it is going to be somewhere 5.5 or 6 o'clock six uh, band so make sure that you plan it very then only if only plan you can write it in 30 minute then comes a most serious issue that is the last 5 minute is for proof reading and many people 
uh, mistake this term proofreading to be rereading. No, it is not rereading. Proofreading means looking for, looking for, looking for errors. Uh, the swelling. Swelling is a very serious uh, mistake which you will get negative mark. Second is punctuation. Third is grammar. Mm -hmm. Grammar, well, uh, you wrote it because you don't know that part of the grammar. Forget grammar, grammar is a serious one. And uh, tense you can look. Then uh, last one is legibility. There, uh, legibility, many students lose because of legibility. E is to be written like E. And T is to be written like T and not D. And not like L. So these are the four areas you are looking for the last. So this is the planning. This is a planning and this is how you have to execute it. So I'm going to look at this uh, uh, today's topic that is asked yesterday in Kuwait. That is very interesting. Now you, uh, what VMAX does, you know, always uh, fashion our uh, doing, teaching with reference to latest questions. Especially this uh, February, uh, March, February, uh, Jan, Feb and March. There are two months, a lot of changes. Uh, not uh, cardinal changes, but I may say... Uh, some slight changes have come and therefore it is always desirable uh, you uh, be in touch with your contact, your uh, trainers we BMAX have uh, excellent trainers all of them are well qualified and they have all that's about fun of it all of them have already written uh, the, or have taken the uh, IELTS they have got very score they know it and they have the latest type of questions, the changes that have come. For example, uh, two days ago, it is uh, so happened. Uh, I don't remember which uh, Iran. I may, no, no, Australia, Australia. The last uh, speaking question, uh, part one at the end, it is that can you about music? Can you recite or uh, sing a, a poem that is your favorite? Your favorite, mind you. Can you recite or sing your favorite? Uh, Poem. Even speaking is very uh, difficult for, they are asking you to recite or sing. They are not asking you to sing, but recite. There are a lot of changes like that and be in touch with that. That's why I thought of uh, coming with uh, today, uh, this one. That is a uh, uh, task, uh, uh, there's a two-way task, you know, advantages, disadvantages, uh, no, first one is agree, disagree. All the such agree, disagree. Then uh, 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 advantages and disadvantages. Then uh, causes and solutions. And causes and solutions. Advantages and disadvantages. Uh, don't write at one place uh, advantage, another place disadvantage. The question is about advantages. Therefore, focus on at plural itself. Plural itself. Advantages. And oh, everywhere you have to write advantage. Adva I don't say that uh, that word, particular word, but it must be used in plural. You can use any other word for merits, for I can say. Pros, or you can say. Or positives, you can say. But not uh, used in plural. So is the case with the uh, causes. There's a causes. So don't write uh, at one place cause and another place. This is a major mistake. Maybe because they do not, I don't know, either because they do not know, or because of negligence or carelessness, which is going to cost you a lot of mark. So with that brief introduction, now today's topic is a two-way question and this is a uh, it is very plain. It is very two-way, two-way question. It is very plain. Still people make confused. They confuse. That is what that they, it is an amalgam. It is an amalgam of that uh, one, uh, for example, do you agree or disagree? Along with the second question, will there will be two questions. There is a uh, general statement, for example, uh, you know, the question is coming in a box. And that is called a question prompt. And there is a general statement followed by question. But in this case, there will be two questions. And uh, what are the two questions? They are a different one. One may be, so for example, uh, the topic and say, uh, how far do you agree or disagree? And second will be uh, something different. What are, for example, uh, uh, a classical one which came recently is that, Raising the, uh, price, uh, raising the cost of petrol is the best way to solve, uh, uh, to solve uh, pollution and a traffic problem. That is the general state of pricing, hiking, escalating the uh, price of petrol or fuel. Petrol is the best way to solve the problem of pollution and uh, 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 traffic. Now, what is the question? How far do you agree or disagree? 
that is one second what are the other ways so that is called a two way task then or it is it a positive or negative say this is uh, called a positive and uh, read and it uh, don't confuse it with the uh, discussed both ways that is what mainly happens that's the main reason why students score less because they miss it they don't read that is a rain they are in a hurry and i don't blame you because when you go to the examination hall naturally the body temperature rises to 2 degrees c then you may uh, you may forget or you may in a hurry to finish it and you are not allowed to wear a watch but there is a time out there you have to glue your eye over there and then you see it so first 5 uh, minute planning means you have to read the question uh, and to do the kwa what is kwa key word analysis what are the key word now here is uh, the question uh, agasha is with me agasha agasha yes he is one of the a trainers with bmax and we are very proud to have a person like him now the question is many supermarkets many supermarkets so your supermarket is a uh, green why it is a uh, key word are selling sell so supermarket sell more and more products uh, uh, product what are imported imported instead of uh, selling food uh, that is locally ah uh, these are the locally uh, sourced so this is a topic here identify first identify what are the keywords that is supermarkets selling product imported rather than from local market now if you look at it you can see you can use it for asking any question uh, uh, so which do you uh, what is your opinion do you agree or disagree that can be one or what are the advantages and disadvantages you can say then now uh, causes and solution discuss both views and here it is so oh, it is immaterial uh, what the question is what read and understand and see what is your question so here uh, what is the question so uh, what is that many supermarkets many supermarkets i uh, mind you supermarket is one word many supermarket so r is silent super it is not market uh, market market r is silent and uh, k e t is also market supermarket 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 market e t words are ending in e t always i t cricket cricket pocket bucket ticket uh, gadget bucket bucket all the it so here it is supermarkets are selling uh, uh, more and more products that are imported you go to a supermarket nearby and you can see there are more and more more internationally uh, 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 imported products instead of selling what is locally so so that is the paraphrase that is the general statement and is are supposed to make a paraphrase of that paraphrase then you have to write the thesis and what is the, what is the uh, what is the question question is this uh what are the reasons for this what are what are the reasons what are the reasons so what you have to do reasons with an s uh, and r at least uh, two reasons you have to say not one then you will, will you end up in uh, task if you write only one reasons are causes and and then is this a positive or a negative you know this is a combination of what is that uh, causes and the solutions there is one kind of genre there is one genre called the causes and the solution the half of it given what are the causes and advantages and disadvantages discuss the advantages and disadvantages here uh, whether it is a positive so is an amalgam this is what i told the, uh, the the interesting thing or you ought to be very careful don't confuse and so this is not a discuss both of you question very plain and of all the question this is the plainest one then what i show your program what are you how are you going to tackle address it now first uh, paraphrase it then you go for the thesis sentence and uh, there is a structure for all and bmax is very uh, uh, is uh, uh, has given structure for all the five you follow that structure you follow so you will not uh, commit mistakes and then uh, yeah, your introduction and conclusion are here it is very important uh, one thing i forgot to tell who has that uh, uh, an answer sheet 
plain answer sheet. Anybody? Can you show it? Now, uh, see that uh, thesis and a paraphrase. Now, I told you that uh, you have to write uh, uh, two, 55 to 60 words and 80 and 90, 230 will be 262 to 270 words. But uh, the real problem is that how do you know whether it is uh, uh, at the end you have to count it. At the end you count it, suppose it is only 240, then what will you do? You cannot do anything. Now you write, you spend your whole uh, 40 minutes and you write it and you come to know that uh, it is uh, 240 only. No, not that. Uh, I cannot fold it. You have run, done it wrongly. Okay, keep it there. She will be bringing it. I cannot, it is unfolded. It is rubbled, you know. <laughs> I, have to, I have only one hand. So, now here the, this is the main problem. That is the main problem going to happen. How do you know it is 60? Uh, 80 for 80 and uh, 60 total to 60 to uh, 270 there is a method which I will tell you so what you have to do is uh, you write your paraphrase oh so paraphrase you have to and then ah yes thank you madam ah that is it this is OIT no uh, this is not OIT anybody else says that there is somebody who showed that ah yeah this is OIT paper. Ah, that is it. Written, no problem. And now, see, uh, why, how, how dirty you could... Ah, that is it. Uh, now, uh, this is the uh, answer sheet, official answer sheet for task 2. Yes. This... Uh, <laughs> now, here, it is very interesting. You can see, there it is, task 1. We had an eminent teacher here, a trainer. Her name is uh, Indu Madam. And uh, one of her stu students, what happened now? She wrote her uh, task 2 in task 1 paper. I repeat, a, such a trainer, a great trainer like uh, Indu Madam, as now she is somewhere abroad now, and her student wrote uh, the answer for task 2 in task 1 paper. What happened, you know, you can imagine. This question answer will be going to the examiner who is meant for value. He find nothing happens. So, the case happens with uh, listening and reading. You are in a uh, hurry. Therefore, what do you do know? You take uh, that uh, listening paper and uh, write the answer in the reading answer. And reading in the listening. So, be very careful. Now, if you are getting, at least you can put a one more one there and make it two. So, there will not be any problems. So, what I mean... Uh, what is the best way? Now you see, uh, you, after doing 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, and one mock test, you write it and show it to your trainer. You write it and show your trainer and see the trainer will where you are. Uh, you always start from the second line. Now see that uh, where your 50, 5, 60 word ends. If it is here, you make a mark here. So that will be 55 to 60 word. Mark a line. Then you turn and count it again. With your, that varies from if he said the her will be different. Because depending on the size of your handwriting. Your sign of the letter. Maybe the next page you can turn here. Then count it from here after skipping one line. Here it may be your 80. Make a line. Then skip one line. And the next 80 may be here. Skip a line. And then remaining this. That means you know the boundary. Just like in a cricket or in a football ground they have put a boundary. Here you have marked. Usually when you write your introduction of 60 words will end here. So you make a mark here. And uh, the eight, skip one line and after that uh, your 80 word will come here. Make a mark. And your next 80 BP2 will come over here. And the remaining is for you. That means you are confining your answer within this page. And then you start writing. When you write, see that it is up to here. Not This is not the thing. Real problem is with the task 1. Task 2, when you write, you can guess. It is 250 or 260. If you write like this, it is 260. Now, task 1. Task 1, there is no bar. You cannot count fairly. So, what you can do is... Uh, you mark where it is uh, 2, 160, that is what task 1. 160 to 170, you count it and where it ends, put a mark. At least it should be up to here. If it is anything less than this, anything lower than this, 
your word, num word count is not enough. This is what you have to do. This is a very good uh, planning. Uh, uh, we sat together, we trainers sat together and we found out this plan. This is copyrighted to BMAX. Only BMAX knows it. Now what happened to that uh, student who, uh, who uh, got a, a task 1 in task 2 paper? That's 2 in task 1 paper. Now she began to cry. Uh, Indu Madam, Indu Madam called uh, Shansa. Uh, there comes the importance of Shansa. Now I told you about our MD. Oh, a wonderful man. Uh, he immediately took down and solved it within uh, just like vaporized. Like he took the problem in his hand uh, just like uh, the mist in the morning sky, sun evaporated. He solved it immediately. That happens only if, if you, are a, you are a registered student with the BMAX. Therefore, I, I take this opportunity to tell friends, whenever you are registering, you register with the BMAX. There are several advantages for that. You, you can register by yourself. There is no way it is online, you know. Anybody can register. But if you register with BMAX, then you become our bona fide student. Any problem happen? The problems happen, you know. We had a, what is her name? Uh, Alia. You, you might know at all. Alia. Ah, you know. Oh, you are a <laughs> <see, Fanny. laughs> Ah, Alia went to speaking and she forgot to take the, pass, uh, the, 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 the passport with her. But it was sold. It was sold. Again, I don't know whether I could uh, talk in this platform. Uh, 7776.5. Yes, Sansar can interfere. Sansar will come to your help. There, when there are 7776.5 or 879 and 6.5, he can talk. And again, one more very interesting thing. A Quellum bought a, a, a center. Earlier, you had to go to Rivandrum or to Gautam. Quellum bought a, a center just because of Sansar. He has a good hold. Please. Register only through BMAX. Now you have added advantage. What is that? You need not to pay the uh, service charge. When you register with somebody or when you register for yourself, you have to pay the service charge. But here uh, it is uh, free uh, because you are our, our students, you know. You are our students. So we will not uh, take a uh, service charge from you. Plus uh, you have the uh, value added service of... Uh, uh, being a student, therefore registered. Incidentally, I told you. Now here, so that is uh, uh, how we are. Para uh, let us see how I am going to paraphrase it. Now, so the question here it is. Uh, the question here it is. Uh, many supermarkets, many super understand the idea, and I wrote thanks to globalization. Thanks to means because of. Thanks to means because of globalization. Supermarket. There is no other word, you know. There is no other word. Uh, yeah, they call hyper word, but these are the words located only in Kerala and uh, India. There, there is hyper market and I don't know, hyphy market are not uh, English, you know. So supermarkets, uh, thanks to, uh, thanks to, uh, that's a beautiful phrase. Thanks to globalization, made because of globalization. Supermarket today tell too many imported, uh, that is uh, selling imported uh, product. I changed it uh, too many a uh, product uh, the compared to the number of locally produced uh, produced the uh, ones. So this is my uh, simple idea. But, uh, I, uh, please understand what is the idea and put it in your own word. What is that? Thanks to globalization. And uh, thanks to because, uh, thanks to mean because of globalization. Supermarkets today are selling too many products, imported products, imported products compared to the number of uh, uh, locally produced ones. That's enough. That's enough. Don't write anything unnecessarily about uh, the importance of, uh, for example, supermarket. Supermarkets are uh, uh, very important these days. So don't tell it. It's, the topic is not about supermarket. The topic is about, uh, uh, the topic is about uh, local and uh, uh, foreign products. So that is your introduction, a paraphrase. Now let us see what is the... Uh, th thesis sentence. What is a thesis sentence? Thesis sentence means uh, it's the answer to the question. Now here, this essay will... That is very important. You did not start. You are going to start. Will. This gives a range. GR, -A, G -R, grammatical range. Future tense. Delon, the causes. 
cause is uh, reason cause is plural uh, of this trend uh, cause is of this trend uh, including are uh, there what are that here you have to say what are the causes there are two causes what are they uh, changes in the consumer taste change in the, uh, that is one reason changes in the consumer taste and uh, second reason what are a belief that is it foreign goods uh, have uh, more benefits compared to the locally produced that is one so this essay has uh, what are the two things both are told here this essay will dwell on this essay will dwell on you can write this essay will mm, discuss why did i use the delon delon is a high frequency word which is a nine band word the words also have their own uh, band words now how do you know you go to cambridge dictionary type any word however for example type it and then you can see within circle they have said uh, b words are different uh, uh, band uh, a b a b c d c d and uh, c that is their gradation what they want is c word that is high frequency word that is why dwell on the causes of the trend that is this essay has the law and uh, why because what are the reasons one changes shift uh, in the changes consumer taste now you think about your grandparents and your parents and you you can see the what you like uh, is a thing hated by your grandparents and what grandparents like you don't like also shift in the change that is why many people are interested in buying things uh, consumer pro uh, uh, from pro uh, for products from abroad and uh, second reason there are two what are two reason that uh, foreign goods have more benefits compared to locally that is what they believe so this is uh, the uh, paraphrases over now let us see how we have written the letter left word so that is uh, what we have done paraphrased it paraphrased it and uh, written the thesis and then here in the thesis sentence he said what did he say this will discuss will discuss dwell on will dwell on the causes and the causes are two what is the causes one there is a shift in the the uh, change of the taste and the second is the belief of the people the imported products are superior in quality these are the two reasons and that is what i you take in other and i have got yesterday the same question i gave in the spectra class our spectra interestingly uh, most of our students are writing um, they are uh, taking their test on the third therefore we have started a countdown today is the eighth day and uh, therefore we are giving so only one hour we are supposed to give but uh, took a sense of told that take the liberty give them more so 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock is our reading and uh, uh, at 9 9 to 10 uh, 9 to 9:30 is speaking and then is time management because many people find it difficult to finish it in 30 minute so we are giving everything for and today is the eighth day every day they are getting these things and uh, i request i tell i suggest i solicit i ask uh, oh, students uh, you can also attend the classes come and they get the spectra benefit now uh, in spectra i gave it and i was uh, shocked i was surprised uh, taken aback they have i don't know how many points they have written the two reason they have given uh, the reasons which i never thought about it so that is it uh, 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 you have written the and then thesis sentence now how you are going to write it the first one is your argument what is the argument cause now you have given two causes so first sentence you have to write uh, causes then explain that is the reason then you give the example and then conclude a uh, bp1 let us see how i have written the uh, i have written the okay. i have written the this one to embark on to embark on why did that you can use of uh, to begin with also to begin with uh, firstly all these are acceptable but uh, when you say to begin with uh, or firstly The, those words are a, a low frequency word you are not going to get a, a seven band if you are going to use so ordinary you use ordinary words and to say that i want something you know, not acceptable therefore this word embark is a nine band word to embark on means start with firstly uh, so the, i what i told you for example everything when i was a university student my process you don't use the word firstly it is un english uh, yes they told me don't use english uh, firstly it is un english but now we are using that you know so here to embark on 
the principal cause the main causes behind reason we put it as causes behind this problem this uh, is a reference word very important word this this uh, phenomenon is an what is exponential shift exponent good, good word big uh, exponential shift uh, among the consumers there is an exponential shift uh, of taste among the that is one and uh, that is a widespread belief what is that that uh, they possess uh, certain merits and uh, over the native products see that uh, what are the different words i am using local products native products so that is it. that is the first argument number one what is the argument number one that is the i have given there the two causes what are the two causes one an exponential shift uh, a big shift uh, why did i not use big and big exponential they are asking for keyword a uh, uh, high frequency word heavy words exponential shift uh, on the consumer taste and second is widespread belief that is my first one what is called here as a argument now second i have to give the reason let us see what is the reason and what is the reason uh, so first one then i am going to write uh, the reason what is the reason firstly here you can write firstly two reasons you know firstly firstly advances in the transport why what are the causes what are one is advancement in the transport has allowed the supermarket to import products unlike in the past in the past it was difficult you know you took a you know 13 days to travel from trivandrum to ernakulam kochi 13 days not like 80 years ago 80 to 100 years ago now it is you have flight so with a firstly why because the advances in the transport has allowed a supermarket to import products from over the globe wherever for example in my supermarket there is a dates coming from africa and sugar coming from cuba and olive oil coming from greece ha ha how lucky i am yes so firstly that advances it is because of the transport and uh, second uh, and secondly firstly secondly currency and cohesion secondly uh, imported goods uh, usually pass certain qualification which are not mandatory for uh, for a country made food now they are, when they are importing they have to the food and the safety control go and do a lot of uh, uh, standardization they want a certain specific standard therefore you can assume that they have undergone what about the local made uh, food food step now think about the kapalini mithai that you are getting in your locally made one is there any guarantee that is who make it we don't know and what is the hygiene there we don't know but here they are put to uh, great uh, uh, what do you call um, standardized one and make sure they are the best so naturally it is quite uh, people believe that uh, why because they have undergone a lot of lot of uh, uh, mandatory this a lot of uh, test and certifications where our local people you make it and uh, sell it there and we are, there are a lot of uh, units uh, home uh, units they make a lot of bakery item for example and they sell it to there what is a the guarantee they are uh, doing it in the hy uh, hygienic but here that is the reason you cannot blame the people telling that uh, uh, products are good so that is the one so you have uh, given the argument both the argument to and explain them now it is a example now example is a must and uh, there it says you have to give examples from your uh, knowledge or relevance for example what is that the imported goods the imported fruits and uh, vegetables a word is vegetable not veggie not vegetable vegetable vegetables uh, vegetables are examined in severe criteria <laughs> they are examined in severe criteria and including poison and uh, nutrients they have say where there are any poison nutrient which should be meet the specific standard that is it that is so you can be very sure uh, uh, eating the apple or the uh, uh, what is that grapes don't eat the grapes from uh, in, in the local market because all of them have highly infecticides are uh, sprayed on them but a uh, foreign you can eat because they are undergoing style and uh, so that is the example and the final thus see uh, thus uh, the multiple 
factors contributed to the surge increase of foreign food uh, native market. Now, Madam, show this. So, what we have done, the four para. That is, we gave it two arguments, causes, then explained them, gave an example and concluded. Same thing we are going to do in the case of the second also. But uh, just like here, we have said, uh, not next one. So, second one that we have uh, done, began with uh, to embark on. Here, well, let us see. This uh, second one, what is a positive or a negative development? Come on. Is this, uh, this uh, shift, this shift from uh, the palate is a negative development because, oh, in my opinion, this is a negative Is it a positive or negative? It is a negative development. That's what I believe. Now, too many products in your uh, supermarket is a positive. I think it is a negative one because you can say positive also, provided you tell the reason. Because it is detrimental to the local farmers and environment. That is the reason. Now, when too many products are coming from abroad and people are uh, happy to buy them, what the local people will do? That is the main thing. So, a negative development because it is a detrimental, harmful, very beautiful word and a local farmers and environment. Why? Then uh, that is the first argument. Then I am explaining the reason. The native producers may not, uh, co cannot, uh, must compete with the uh, giant uh, multinationals. They are, uh, this important are by multinationals, MNCs. They are giants. Uh, they are poor our uh, uh, retail shop man. You call Kirana. That is word uh, accepted in English. Kirana shoppers cannot uh, compete with them. And what happens, you know, giant multiple afford to sell their products at a lower price. Obviously, another link, uh, consumers buy cheaper product, cheaper product, not cheaper products. There is a lot of difference between cheap and the cheaper product. What is cheap tomatoes? Cheap tomatoes are already rotten tomatoes. Cheaper means less costly. Here he is selling for 10 rupees and she is selling for 8 rupees, I will go naturally. So here that is happening is supermarket the price is low. You might have advertisement poti for example you can say. The advertisement every day it comes. Now that much uh, slash and discount are offering. You cannot uh, expect it from the ordinary shop. Now the, uh, your shop on the corner we cannot offer you that much a discount. Because it cannot. The multinational can. That is why obviously a consumer that you go for cheaper products. Mind you it is cheaper product not cheap products. Cheaper products and it is a fatal blow to the local farmers. It is a deadly blow to the farmers who are, for, who are forced to close their outlets. They are finally there. There is nobody will come there. there is margin free for example. Margin free you go and buy certain things. So you get a big, uh, uh, what is that, uh, you get a big discount. Then why should you go? That is what you are doing in... Uh, Oh, what is that uh, company? Apollo. No, not the, what, what is your buying site? Amazon. Eh? Amazon. 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 Why you buy it from there? You get a very good discount. So you buy it from same is going to happen for this. Thus we can conclude. Final, we are concluding. Rephrase. What is the rephrasing? Uh, uh, so, conclude. Uh, uh, yeah. Let us conclude this. Forget it. Conclude. Even though, this is a very good word, but mind you, even though is a two word. Even though the supermarket currently enable the shoppers to procure, buy much more varied products from the around the globe. That is true. We, you know, we cannot deny that one. Even though, even though, even though, there are two words, be very careful. Even though, no, it's not a single word. Even though supermarket currently enable the shoppers to procure means buy much more varied products from all over the globe. You get that, it's varied products. So for example, if you want to buy soft drinks, so a hundred varieties are there. For example, tomato, ketchup, you want, how many varieties are there? Or even vegetables, you go there. Apple, how many varieties are there? It is true, but uh, that is what even though, what is the, this, uh, that is uh, in a brown, I uh, have given. This process is tremendous risk for the rocker problem. Because the reason is told there. This essay has discussed the, the causes why supermarkets are saturated with, uh, full of, uh, saturated with the imported uh, uh, and imported and very, uh, imported wood and validated, uh, my validated is a good opinion, validated my opinion that it is a negative. It is presented by BMAX Collab. So, friends, that's all. We have taken a, a long time. Oh my God, it is one hour.
one hour we have taken but i am very happy i have had the rapt attention i have got from you uh, so what you can do is uh, it will be published again madam will it be published yeah you will get the recording of this and you listen to it once again and write it to her and it will come to any of us we are 6 7 8 people here we all are competent in for example akash sir is here and then uh, our uh, gypsy madam coordinator is here and uh, all uh, elizabeth madam is here and then uh, uh, what's her name ganga no uh, uh, gayatri no janaki madam is there she is all very good people they are capable enough to answer or approach them and you will get it so that's all uh, uh, to uh, ice the cake uh, uh, this is only one model and uh, you can write it and uh, send it for uh, feedback and remember how to manage the time and how to word control and do in the way that we have told and you write this again in your own way if you 10 people are writing 10 essays it will be 10 different essays one based on one question if there are 10 people are writing it will be 10 different one because it is individuals write it therefore send it and give for feedback feedback is very important what is that there is no meaning you are writing 100 essays or 10 50 essays you write a minimum but uh, whatever you are writing must be produced to your trainer get them corrected uh, and so i am very happy meeting you please uh, convey my love and regards to all your friends uh, parents uh, uh, your family members uh, and your neighbors your friends and your enemies also may god bless you thank you